Our story starts on the 5th of April, 2024, when Zimbabwe's central bank governor, John Mushayavanhu, launched ZIG. This new currency, a bold step away from traditional forms of money, was touted as a game-changer, a solution to the country's high inflation rates. It's linked to gold, other precious metals, and foreign currencies, and Mushayavanhu claimed it was backed by foreign exchange reserves and gold. But here's where things get interesting. On the 22nd of April, Mushayavanhu made a surprising statement. He said, and I quote, We got a consultant from the World Bank, and a lot of the things that you're seeing about the structured currency actually came from the World Bank. He passed the buck, suggesting that if there were any issues with Zig, the blame should be placed on the World Bank. However, just a week later, on the 29th of April, Mushayavanhu backpedaled. He denied his recorded remarks, stating instead that a consultant from the World Bank had merely assisted in providing information about structured currencies, which helped refine their thoughts on ZIG. This back and forth has sparked controversy, with the World Bank distancing itself from ZIG and Mushayavanhu's claims about its involvement. So, the big question remains, did Mushayavanhu mislead the nation? To recap, the launch of Zimbabwe Gold, the claims of its backing by the World Bank, and the subsequent denial of these claims by both Mushayavanhu and the World Bank make up the core of this controversy. The nation is left in a state of uncertainty, questioning the credibility of their central bank governor and the authenticity of their new currency. While the dust is yet to settle, one thing is for sure. The controversy surrounding Zimbabwe gold is far from over. As we move forward, it will be interesting to see how this narrative unfolds and what it means for the future of Zimbabwe's economy. Until then, keep your eyes and ears open, because in this rapidly changing world, nothing is as gold as it glitters.